Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my morning routine video. So this video is basically showing how I set myself up for stable blood sugars from the very moment I wake up. So my alarm during the week goes off any time between 5.15 and 6 a.m. depending on what I have to do that morning. So some days I have to put my makeup on, some days I have my coaching call in the morning before work. Um, so depending on that um, and what I have to do, I set my alarm, get up, I do my scan from bed and I keep my insulin next to my bedside. So I decide my insulin dose and do my insulin from bed. I then get up, grab my clothes, get dressed, and then I head on through to the kitchen to make my drink. So most mornings I go to the gym and train and my first drink of the day is 500 ml of squash with some creatine in. Creatine to help with exercise, performance and recovery. And then the squash obviously just to hydrate. I like starting my day with a good half litre to make sure that I'm getting in plenty of fluids before I then get to the gym, sweat it all out, um, and this way I just keep hydrated, which also helps with those blood sugars. And then once I've done that, I take my squash and I head on through to the living room. And once I've done that, I have a seat on the sofa, I drink my squashy creatine um, and then I have a banana as my pre-workout. Now normally, like ideally, you'd have a bit more fuel for a pre-workout um, but at this time in the morning I'm really not hungry at all so I'm just looking to get in some form of carb and this is what I've been doing for a long time now so I know what works for me and I have 1.5 units for a before an upper body day or two units before a lower body day and then obviously I adjust that depending on my blood sugars um, so this morning I did have 1.5 units originally but when I came and I saw the size of the banana um, I had two units because although I have a leg day I did 1.5 units because I was a bit on the lower end of the scale but because this I think is going to bump it up um, I did the extra 0.5 units to bump it up to two in total. I also like having a banana as my pre-workout because it means that on those days when you do wake up high it means I can then have my insulin before I leave the house and it's portable so then my walk to the gym is 15 minutes so I can walk for 10 minutes before then eating so my blood sugars can come back down before I then take on more carbs because where possible I always want to eat before going to the gym but because my morning routine is quite tight and I don't have much room for flexibility I don't have time to inject some weight around before I then eat something here to go to the gym um, so having something like that that's not too heavy um, doesn't require too much insulin um, won't affect my blood sugars too much and I can also eat on the go if needed is really important for me um, and then I have my main breakfast when I get back like my banana isn't my breakfast it's my pre-workout snack breakfast is when I get home so yeah I have this as my like pre-workout meal and then after I finish eating I sit for literally three minutes it's a bit random but um, yeah I just allow myself three minutes to sit and think um, and have some peace and a few moments to myself before I then get up and get my ass to the gym. Like if I'm really hungry I'll try and eat 
ASAP. Um, and it also depends on my blood sugars. So if I am high, I will do my insulin as soon as I get home and then stretch and then eat. If I'm really high and I still haven't come down after my stretch, which takes like 10 to 15 minutes, then I will insulin, stretch, then shower, then eat. And then obviously on the reverse of that, if I'm low, I will take my insulin and eat as soon as I get home. Um, but today my sugars were kind of average throughout my whole session, which is really good. So I came home, did my stretch. I'm now gonna check my sugars and see where we're at, but I'm quite hungry. So yeah, 6.8, um, which I'm really happy with. So my breakfast is my overnight oats, which I always make on a Sunday with um, chocolate peanut protein powder. And then I microwave it in the morning with some frozen berries, some seeds um, and some dark chocolate. And on a training day, I have four and a, no, four units, I'm gonna say post leg day, and then I have four and a half or five units post upper body, upper body day, depending on what my blood sugars are. Um, so I'm gonna have four and a half units now. And because after a leg day, I have a very fast, like insulin acting time um as soon as my oats are microwaved i can then eat straight away without really having a spike and then i'll get in my shower so yeah i have the kind of injection food stretching shower and my four like next components when i get home but the order i do them completely depends on my blood sugars and my appetite so yeah i'm going to inject those four units now and have breakfast C it's like a dissolvable vitamin C they're like these little tabs that you dissolve um, and then it makes like a drink just for like immune system and stuff and then as well for my immune system I take C buckthorn um, tablets they're just little like soft gels I get these on Amazon the vitamin C I get just from like the supermarket and they're just like these little red things um, and yeah, I found they have massively, massively, massively helped my immune system since I've been taking them because my immune system is terrible. Um, and then I also take a probiotic. And um, this is just one that I pick up from Holland and Barrett. Um, but yeah, it's just like that. And I have it before breakfast because yeah, my digestion is really, really slow. And if I don't have a probiotic, I end up having to split my insulin dose over two doses for breakfast, which is what I was doing for a long time, because otherwise I'd go low straight away and then spike higher later. Whereas if I take the probiotic, I can just take all of my insulin in one dose, which is obviously very preferable. Um, but yeah, just a little, I also wanted to just re-explain my insulin doses in the morning, because basically my carb, insulin to carb ratios vary depending on what kind of day it is. So leg day, it's about one to 12 upper body day it's more like 1 to 11, 1 to 10 and then on a rest day it's 1 to 7 so it does make a really big difference when I get up and move my body in the morning and do some exercise my carb ratios go down so much, no up so much like less insulin basically um, so yeah just thought I would explain why there's different numbers depending on the different day. Okay so now that I've had breakfast it is time to do my Levermere and on a training day I am currently on 26 units of Levermere um, so I'm gonna do that and then hop in the shower. <laughs> freezing cold showers and it's honestly like the saviour to my day because it has been so hot so starting the day at like a reasonable temperature after my cold shower is an absolute must if I have any hope of getting anything done so I'm just logging on to work now um, sometimes I will like put makeup on if I have like important meetings or anything but I don't think I do today so just gonna have a fresh face day, give my skin a bit of a break. Um, and yeah, that is my morning routine during for training days for stable blood sugars. If you wanna see more about how I 
avoid like morning spikes and manage blood sugars on a rest day then I will link a vlog that I filmed on a rest day where I go quite in depth on my morning routine in that video but yeah for now that is it for this one I'm going to get on with my work and I hope you all have a great day bye